So, my name is Dominic Reyna. I have a theory how the ancient Egyptians may very easily have moved their large blocks of building stone incorporated into their pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid. Here we have 33 patio stones weighing 39 pounds each for a total of 1,287 pounds. And uh, this is intended to simulate how we would deal with a, a building block, a stone block weighing that amount and how it's not moving large rocks does not have to be a drag. And it's quite possibly that the ancient Egyptians were the first ones to use and enjoy rock and roll. The accepted belief would have been that they would drag a rock like this very laboriously, probably with a crew of maybe for one this size, maybe 10 or 12 people would have been assigned to drag a rock like this. Dragging rocks can be very hard. Uh, I feel there's a more efficient way where we can use and draw on the weight of the rock to move itself. We are in essence going to be harnessing gravity. Gravity if you are dragging a rock, gravity is the enemy. If you're tumbling a rock, gravity is your friend. So with this system, we are going to uh, have much less friction than we would have by dragging a rock. We'll have the ability to create momentum and to keep that momentum going. Using this system, <coughs> we take a rock and on the four sides of the rock, running length, lengthwise, from one end of the rock to the other, we, depending on the size of the rock, we will have planking that goes across. And in essence, what this planking does is makes the rock tippy. So what is on one side, and this goes on the four sides of the rock. So as the rock, the rock I'm going to tumble, as it tumbles, It'll, the weight of the rock will sit on here, sit on the corner, and then move to the next side. But the, the overhanging weight of the rock on one side will cause the rock, the, whole, the other side, to lift and rotate. Now, right now, okay, right now this rock is, you'll notice, it's actually very, very, very light, and it'll actually... It will actually travel by itself because there's a slight grade here going down. My biggest problem here isn't to get the rock moving, but it gets so excited about going this way that it just doesn't want to stop. So anyway, you shall see how this rock will virtually travel on its own, taking advantage of gravity. There is a slight slope to this driveway, but not excessive. Now what I do is I... I rock and roll it. Now you'll notice here that I have, when I, I'm, I proudly say this weighs 1,287 pounds, I still have a slight regret that there is not more rock to move because today the, the problem is not how much rock I or a child could move this way. It, the problem is how do I transport the rock in a vehicle from point A to point B. And it, the limitations of what I have here are not limitations of human or child power. It is the limitations of modern day vehicles to haul this way to the demonstration site. The darn Dodge Caravan. <laughs> However, uh, the concept of moving rocks by tumbling is an inherent trait that goes back to the caveman. And in point of fact, it was the Egyptians who put a little finesse to the concept and by attaching planks to the four sides of a rather mundane rock, Ordinary mortals, including women and children, could be titans 
as they rotated with relative ease, massive boulders broadside to their direction of travel.